Dunya is a lie. Dunya is an illusion. Dunya is a deception. Dunya is temporary. A short stop over to our final destination. Dunya is a mirage. We think it's real, but when we get closer, reality strikes. Ali Radiola Anhu said, People are asleep as long as they live, and they are awakened when they die. This life is a big test, and this world is our examination room. Chasing dunya is like chasing your shadow. Let's instead run away from this dunya, and then watch this dunya will run after us. Dunya's deception is clear to see if it's wealth, status, race, or nationalism. What example can I give of this dunya? Isa alayhi salam once met Dunya. Dunya was dressed as a beautiful woman. And Isa alayhi salam asked, Who are you? And she replied, Dunya. And he said, How many partners have you had? She said, Billions and billions. All of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Isa alayhi salam asked, And how many have you been faithful to? She replied, none. And finally, Isa Islam said, Fool is he who falls for your deceptive ways and lies. The only truth is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Islam. And the only guarantee is Kullu nafsin ta'ikudul mawt. Every soul shall taste death. We won't die with our money or status. When we die, people will eventually forget that this is dunya. These things won't matter in the grave. The only thing will matter is our deeds. Our only luggage is going to be our good and bad deeds. There will only be three questions in the grave from the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Munkin Wanaki will ask, Who is your Lord? Allah. What is your deen? Islam. And who was that man we sent amongst you? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There will not, there will not be a fourth. How much money did you make? What was your origin? This dunya is striving and sacrificing for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Staying firm on our deen and not hurting, betraying, deceiving ourselves and especially not others. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me a good heart because with salah, zakah, fasting, we should all respect and love one another. All our prophets, may peace be upon all of them, had great characters. I give this advice to myself first, Umar. Love all your brothers and sisters for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we are all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dunya is temporary. And the only truth is Allah and His Islam. <laughs>